Hi guys! Happy Monday and happy first day of fall if you're in the northern hemisphere and first day of spring in the southern but um here in Atlanta it's finally like really nice and cool outside. It's probably still gonna have some hot days because that's how we roll down south but it really feels like fall today and it's actually the first day of autumn so woohoo we made it um every time there's like a season change people you know feel that in different ways so if you've been feeling kind of like tired or like you just need some time to yourself or like things are too much right now um it's because like people that are really sensitive I might be one of those people. Um, people that are really sensitive feel all of that shifting a lot more intensely than those who are less sensitive. And it's not a good or bad thing. Good morning, Julie. I actually don't have coffee with me right now. I need to go get some. <laughs> I had to take my kiddo to school and we all kind of slept in this morning. So it was sort of like, okay, get up, get in the shower, get out the door. <laughs> um, but yeah coffee's next on my list. I wanted to. I'm literally in my car. I dropped my kid off. I parked. Um, you know, don't do tarot while you're driving, but I wanted to show y'all that like, I know our lives get busy. Things are shifting. It's fall now. People are like back in school. We got a lot going on. We're about to head into like the series of like big holiday seasons. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on. And I'm still a fan of always carving out, like, dedicated sacred space, dedicated time to just chill and rest, to be, to listen. Like, my ability to access my intuition really is my GPS in life. So knowing that things are going to get busier, like, I can't let that go, right? I have to still carve out that time and space. But sometimes that means I'm pulling tarot cards in my car, you know, safely, of course, again, don't do it while you're driving, but so I'm in my car today for our Mystic Monday, so let's see what this week holds, we've got the sun just moved into Libra, Venus is in Libra, Mercury's in Libra, Mars is moving into Libra, so there's a lot of, like, these themes of, like, balance, um, but it can also highlight the things in our lives that are out of balance and the things in our collective where we feel a sense of like injustice and it riles us up. Um, but even that sense of injustice can become like a pull. It's not that like you're not right to be indignant or to point out like, hey, this is really, really not okay. Things need to change. Um, but that that energy can become something that fuels um a lot of emotion in a way that makes actual change and dialogue um kind of impossible so we're just feel everything be with your feelings honor your feelings let those feelings move you to action that kind of writes the scales um but let's do that in ways that you know are actually effective and not detrimental to our own selves you know Okay, so I'm pulling cards. <gasps> Marvelous morning, Tam. Yes, it is. Good morning. I'm going to pull three cards. I'm just going to lay them in my lap today. So, one, two. Well, this is really interesting. I don't fully remember. I mean, I just mix these cards up like a whole bunch. I don't fully remember last week's. So I'm going to have to go back and look. But I feel like we have some similar cards, but in a different order. So, our first card this week is Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is saying, like, hey, take stock of what you have. It's, like, been, like, we've been through, like, the harvest season, right? We're, we're here to, like, honor, give thanks, recognize what we have and where we can share what we have and um, what really is abundant in our lives. The Tens also say, hey, one stage is ending. So as we go into this week and into this new season, at least where I'm at, the season is called fall. It is a time of letting go. So yes, like we have all of this stuff and some of it might be really yummy and wonderful and we want to hold on to it. But the Ten of Pentacles, as much as we're here to acknowledge that, it's also like it's time 
it's time to start letting things go. We can't stay here. We can't stay at the 10. All right, so what's coming next? In the middle of the week, we have 10 of swords. Ah, look, she's been stabbed 10 times. But it is reversed. So this one came up reversed today. 10 of swords reversed. When it is upright, boom, boom, boom. There's like... um an ego death. There's like having, having to really let go of a part of our identity or belief system that we've been holding on to because it's reversed. This is saying to me, we're having a little bit of trouble letting go. There's some part of us that is still wanting to hold on because we're scared. We're scared. We won't have enough if we let go of a core part of our identity. And sometimes this can mean we're even like holding on to something really painful. Um, there is that tendency to over identify with, um, with our trauma or to over identify with a cause in the world and to make that like, this is my identity to the point that you actually limit yourself from that shifting. And so there's something that we're holding on to, but instead of like moving through that and letting it go, um, some part of us is like kind of like addicted to the pain. Maybe not consciously. Like again, this can speak to something very deeply subconscious, but there's, we really are in a massive place of, of monumental change right now. And the message I keep getting from my guides and that keeps coming up in every session I'm doing with people is like, we have to let go of everything we know because nothing that is really true will leave, right? The truth will be there. Like what is most aligned, what is really essential for our beings and, and our truest, deepest desires the letting go isn't like I dissolve into just nothingness, right? We still have our core selves. It's a letting go of anything that's blocking that, anything that's getting in the way of that. But there has to be this complete letting go. So as we move into the middle of this week, looking at things like where am I holding on? And where you'll know that is when you have resistance. When there is resistance, there there is holding. There is something in you that's like, no, I won't let go. I won't let go. And it's hitting something that's challenging that or triggering it or that saying like, well, actually like, here's the energy, you know? And it doesn't mean we accept like, oh, okay, that's what it is. But there's something in you that's not letting you like raise your vibration. Does that make sense? Yes. Helene, let that shit go. Let it go. So pay attention this week when when you're feeling that something. Ah, ah, I feel I feel like I'm hitting a wall. I feel really triggered right now. Like, okay, what's that about? I can always come back to my breath. I can always come back to my heart. I can always go hug a tree. <laughs> like, do something to nurture and nourish yourself. And then get curious about what's going on. So we're going to wrap up the week with the three of wands. And this is us seeing something new that's possible when we let go of something that's not serving us, but also invite in something new, a new idea, a new partner to collaborate with, a new relationship, something new is coming. And it's going to come from that spark within us. Wands is the suit of our passion, our creativity, our desire. So we have earth, air, and fire all in this reading. Pentacles is earth, swords is air, Wands is fire, earth, air, and fire. So working with those elements too and feeling into like we're going to start the week with this like groundedness, the stability, maybe feeling a little slow, and then things are going to start to move, but maybe in a way that's kind of a little triggering of some of our pain and we're going to be in it and we're going to be like, oh, but I'm right. Sometimes like that's what this really strikes me as, but I'm right. Like I can't let this go because like, it's not fair and I'm right. And like, I can't let that go. So I don't know what that is for you in your life, but I know what it is for me in my life. So I'm just going to work on that. And then as we work on that, we're opening, as we're letting go, we're opening to new possibilities. Where can we go from here? Maybe it's somewhere totally different. That's the thing is like, don't have a sense in your heart and your soul and your being and your gut and your body of what you really want but 
be really open to what is coming and how that could look like something you have never, never imagined. All right, we're creating a new world. We're creating something completely new and unseen. And we're really having to let go of not who we are, but anything we've attached to because it can inhibit our forward progress. When we all come together and when we're able to let go of identities and challenges and the even the goals that we think we're working towards and just see how that energy wants to coalesce and what can be created, that is really powerful. We are going to be able to create something new and it's not going to be something any of us have pictured. Hi, Barry. Hi, Helene. Hi, y'all. I'm glad y'all are connecting too. Um... So, Helene is an amazing palmistry expert, you are, and she has an incredible book coming out that you need to go pre-order. It's a kit. It's not just a book. It's a book that teaches you how to, like, read your palm, but it also comes with a way to ink your palm or your friend's palms. You can have, like, a palm reading party, ink it, and look at it. And Barry is, like, an incredible artist and activist, and you really need to go follow him on Instagram because, like every day he posts shit that I'm just like, what? Wow. Wow. Y'all see people like this. These are the people I get to hang with and know and like be inspired by. And I love y'all so much and you're amazing. And I hope you have a really beautiful day and week. I am. I'm too much. And I love it. And I embrace that in myself. Be too much today. Y'all I'm still in my my kids school parking lot the cars just keep driving by you know be you wherever you are be you y'all be you y'all are being you and that's why i love you um because you're doing amazing stuff in the world so keep it up and take care of you all right have a great week bye y'all